1. Now we need to know how to install and configure an FTP server. 2. The FTP server is a file transfer server. 3. We need FTP to upload or download files to and from our server. 4. Our server might be a thousand miles from us but we still need to communicate with him. 5. This well will do with the FTP server. First we will fire up our virtual server. When VirtualBox application window appears, click the Ubuntu server item and press Start button. We will see the Grub Bootloader context menu. Providing us with the opportunity to choose what to do, don't click anything here. Grub Bootloader will start our server automatically. When the login prompt appears, we will need to provide our username and password which we choose during the installation of the Ubuntu server. Now we need to type that simple command, sudo apt get install vsftpd. vsftpd is the name of our FTP server. Our Linux OS will ask us about our administrator user password. We will need to type that password now. Our server will tell us that the software package is downloading and installing now. The VSFTPD start running message means that we have a functional FTP server already. Do you see how easy and fun is it? Now we will type the command displayed on my screen. This command meaning is sudo means that we are declaring that we are administrator user and we are authorized to do changes. Nano will be our text editor. We will use Nano to edit the VSFTPD server configuration file. Everything in Linux world is stored in text files. That is why we are using text editors to make the necessary configuration. After the sudo and nano commands, we need to type the full path to the configuration text file, which we are going to edit. This path is as displayed on my screen. Now we can see the content of the configuration file displayed. We need to scroll down until our blinking cursor reaches the local enable statement. We need to uncomment this line. When we do that, the local administrator user will be able to log through the remote FTP client. Like FileZilla, to uncomment a row you need to delete the hashtag in front of the row. By doing that, we will tell to the program to read that text row, and to take information from it. Next we need to uncomment the write enables row. By doing that, we are allowing users connected via FTP to write files and folder through their FTP client application. That is all we need to do. After we are done changing we need to press the key combination control plus X key on the keyboard. The computer will understand that we wanted to close our file already. But we didn't save our changes. Linux will be polite enough to ask us if we want to save the file. We will type the wire letter and then confirm with enter key on the keyboard. Now we will fire up our FileZilla application, and we'll try to connect with our new FTP server. I forgot to mention that you should restart your virtual machine, so that your changes could take effect, or, as an alternative, you can just restart the VSFTPD service on your server virtual computer, it is the same. We need to provide the server IP address in the host field. Then to fill our Linux administrator username and password, and just hit the quick connect button. Now we are able to upload and download files to and from our Linux server. Thanks for watching friends, and don't forget to subscribe and share. We'll see you in the next video.